fallen in love with Jesus. Fallen in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever done. And I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. It gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. And I Oh, my God. 
believe in coming in and working up something, hallelujah, but I believe in coming in and going to praising God and asking God to move in our life, well, that God can stir us up in such a way, hallelujah. But God says, hallelujah, that he, we get only, hallelujah, brother, why what the Lord puts in what we put in, hallelujah, that God won't bless us, hallelujah, unless we want to praise the Lord. And Jesus said this time that we magnify him to the fullness, hallelujah, that we believe, hallelujah. You know, if we were sick today, hallelujah, and need your prayer, we would come in a believing, sister. Hey, I'm believing for a miracle. I'm believing for healing. Let's believe for a good time in the Lord. Let's believe that God can move, amen, yeah. that God can stir the hallelujah. You know, we might not be with a few people, but hallelujah, it don't matter if they want, hallelujah, and they're willing to serve. God, hallelujah. I've been in the church and sit there, hallelujah, and look around and nobody there, hallelujah, and I sit there and I just hear to cry. And I said, Lord, what's going on? Did I miss you this morning? And God says, I'm here. I'm right here with you. He says, all you got to do is praise me. He says, I'll enter into you. He says, if you'll give me glory, he says, I'll touch you, I'll leave. He says, if there's sickness in your body, he says, I'll heal you. He says, if there's something that you need, I'll deliver you from. But Jesus says, honey, there's a time of coming that we're going to be crying out, asking God to move in our life so strong, honey. But Jesus says, I'll give you the hope and the desire, honey, to serve me. I'll give you the wisdom, the knowledge, honey, to pray out and see my face up. He says, Holly, but so many times we sit still. He says, Holly, don't let the body sit idle. He said, to keep your mind up on me and pray and seek the Lord. And ask God to lead me in every way and guide me, Holly, that I can walk, Holly. Sister, I want to believe, Holly, that the Lord can use me in such a way that I can walk in the anointing of the Lord and do everything He says, Holly. When it gets down, Holly, then Eugene has to trust in Eugene. Eugene's in trouble, but Holly, but I want to walk in the Spirit, sister. I want to see what God can do for us. There's a power and there's anointing, Holly, that's coming forth. God says, Holly, that which is coming. Holly, what we're going to do? Sit here and wait, Holly, till the power comes and the anointing. And we ain't got nothing we're going to worry about, Holly. We wonder why we ain't got it. It's because we're not striving and praying and seeking the Lord and reaching up and saying, God bless us, Holly. God anoint us. God teach us, Holly. Give us a spirit. Holly, the wisdom and knowledge, Holly. You know, I've been in a place, Holly, and I've seen Holly people do things, Holly, and, and not really the Spirit of God being there, Holly, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, God said, if we've got our mind set on your Brother Wiley, Holly, said the Lord can move in our life in such a way. Uh, he said, Holly, he said, you know, said, uh, there's things in our life that we let hold us back. Uh, we find little bitty things, sister, that will hinder us from serving God. Uh, but God said, hey, I've come today to tell you, I can deliver you from every little thing, hallelujah. He says, I can pour anointing out on you. He says, I can pour the Spirit up on you. He says, you've got to want what I have. You've got the desire to feel the anointing. You've got to want the, the, the fullness that I have for you. He says it ain't a part-time religion, Brother Wiley. It's a full-time. He says it's something we need that God can touch and move in our lives. So I'm asking you today, hallelujah, what's on our mind? Let's go to the word mind. Hallelujah. What, what do we really let ourselves think? What do we really let ourselves do that we're not following Jesus? Think about it. Hallelujah. We, you, the mind can play some cruel tricks on you. You can go into a church and the Spirit of God moving is so strong, sister. And all the ways you can go to wonder, oh, what's going to happen in day? What are we eat for dinner? What are we having for supper for now? What's that going on, Holly? And you know, all the ways you can wonder and get your mind off what God's got. But Jesus is saying this morning, Holly, that we're into a presence, Holly, that the Lord wants to come in your mind. He's wanting to anoint you. He's wanting to fill you up with words of wisdom and knowledge and discernment, Holly. He's wanting to lead you and guide you in a way, Holly, that is unreal. But Jesus says, Holly, he says, I cannot come in unto you except what I have for you. He said, you cannot receive a thing until I come into the presence, honey, and anoint you and carry you into a place, honey, that is so unreal. Jesus says, honey, he says, I can walk through everything. I can do anything that you need. He said, you have to trust in me. 
You have to believe in me. You know, even where Holy Ghost is talking about how, he, how the, the Lord wants to bless and anoint us so much. Uh, he says there's so many people that does not want to receive the Spirit of God. There's so many people that wants to reach out uh, and, 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 and get what they want and do what they want to do. But there's a time in our life. There's a time that, I mean, that we don't need to worry about what we want, worry about what God wants to do for us. Walk in a place and believe God has the anointing to pour His Spirit out upon us, hallelujah. You know, hallelujah, when we're hurt, when we're in need, we cry, we ask God, Jesus bless us, Jesus anoint us, Jesus heal us, hallelujah. We wonder why, but you know, I was reading that a while ago, Jesus says that He would heal us at any time. He would deliver from any problem, any situation. But hallelujah, but you know, what is it? Whatever, we're going to idle. See, there's a time that we idle. Like a car sitting here just running for nothing, burning your gas up. But, but you don't want to receive what God has for you. Jesus says, hey, I have it. Don't be sitting on the eyes. Be praising me. Be seeking me. He says, I want to fill you up. I mean, you know, we need a feeling of God. I mean, like we've never had in these last days. We're looking at a time, church, I mean, that things are fixing to really change for us. I mean, it's like they're talking about the government, how the governor, how they, that all this happened. There were so many people that I talked to that was praying that how that would kill it would get it. I don't like to talk about it, but you know, but how if this other person would have gotten we would have really been in trouble, hallelujah. But Jesus seen mercy upon us. He's seen mercy, hallelujah. Because you know, last Sunday I was Saturday I was sitting there watching her on T V and she uh, no one last Sunday, it was last Wednesday. And she said, When I become government, he said, All the guns will be gone Saturday morning, so I'm picking them up. See, this is the way the world does. They want to take things away from you that will cause you to have harm. But Jesus, I mean, I'm not saying Jesus is for guns, but I'm just saying that they're there for our protection if we need them. If we don't have faith to believe God can move that enemy, He's give us wisdom and knowledge. I mean, God's wanting to give us wisdom and knowledge today to reach out and believe that God can do anything for us that we need. But we have to believe for how they want God has. How the Lord told me one time the mind, how he, he says the mind can play so many tricks on you, so much, how he, that how he, that you can be serving the Lord that you think you're doing everything, but how he, all of what your mind will wonder your mind will fall back and forth. And God says, how he, he said, I want to come in your body. He said, I want to come in your mind, your soul, your heart. He says, I want to be part of you, how he, that is so unreal. He says, how he, but says you, you let the world come in. How they and destroy what I have built up. You come in, you let the world come in. We get honey in our life. We get all things on our mind and, and mess everything. But Jesus says, honey, he says, I'm here for you. He says, I'm here this morning to touch you, to bless you in such a way that the anointing, honey, will be upon you, honey. As we go today, honey, you know, I'm going to tell you something. How do you think sometimes we ride by ourselves? But you know how they sometimes you go down the road and uh, the Lord will say, hey, don't turn down that road, go this other road. And you go down that road and the next day or two you hear there's a bad car wreck. Jesus looks after us. Jesus takes care of us, hallelujah. You know, we need to really praise Him and give Him glory. When there's not many here like this this morning, uh, we need to really praise God and give God glory, hallelujah. Little sister, give her heart out, saying, we need to praise the Lord, hallelujah, to touch her throat, to give her healing, hallelujah. need to praise God, hallelujah, for Brother Wiley. We need to praise God for the church. Uh, praise God for the electricity. Praise God for the gas, hallelujah. Praise God for the air that we have. Praise God that we woke up this morning uh, praising the Lord. How do you praise God? We was able when we turned out of bed. Uh, what was the first thing on your mind this morning? What was the first thing that you thought about? Uh, I hope it was thank Jesus for what He's done. How do you, he brought you through another night. How do you, you survived your life? You're not in the hospital. You're not in the jail. How do you, and you need to really thank God for what He's doing. How do you, and you know, this morning I just read this second ago. Hope, hope and glory. We need to hope. How do you, we need to have that hope that God can move in our life. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to share this, and I'm going to sit down. But, but you know, the Lord, how did he show me here what back? Do you know when he adopts you, or you adopt a child? Do you know that child is yours no matter what? You can take your birth child, and you can get away from it. 
But you were not the child, you cannot get rid of it. Did you know that? If you adopt a child, you are bound to that child until the day you die. This is a law. Just think about what God done when He adopted you. How he's, 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 he's took you in His bosom and He's hugged you and He's loved you through the sickness nights and through the days. How He He's took care of you. How He's protected you. And going down the road, how He's protected you doing things. How He He's given you wisdom and knowledge to make the right decision. How He Jesus says, Hey, since I took you, how He I'm trying to teach you today. I want to say this and, and everything that how He God is wanting you to walk in a place that's so unreal. God is wanting you to walk under anointing that's so strong. He's wanting you to walk in a place uh, that He wants to lead you and guide you. How He wants to be that footstep uh, that's in front of He wants to be that place, how He that you walk in a place, uh, how He that God knows every thought on your mind, every situation. Uh, he don't want no worldly stuff in you. He don't want nothing. All He wants is the, is the love of Jesus, how He that He can touch you and bless you in such a way that God can move and teach you in every way. God is going to pour His Spirit out upon you. How many? I believe how many in the last days we will see some great, great things happen. How many? It's going to be so awesome and so powerful. How many? You know, I hate to see the last day come when me and Brother Wiley is talking about it. You know, you hear people talking about the rapture and all this stuff. You know, Jesus went through it, didn't he? Why shouldn't we have to go through it? Think about it. How do you think about it? How do you? I don't, don't like to get into this, but the Lord told me something where a while ago. He says, I'll be with you until the end. He says, no matter what happens. You know, one time, sister, I was running and I was having, I was at a church and uh, there were some people that didn't like me and in my dream, I had, they run me out of the church running and I was running and they was trying to kill me and I run and I run and I run and the Lord spoke to me and said, stop. And I stopped. He said, don't you run from them. You face them. They'll never see you. You know, I turned around, sister, and I went toward that crowd. I walked through the crowd. He couldn't touch me. couldn't lay hands on me. That told me then that Jesus has his hands on me. He will protect me and walk with me as long as I trust and believe in him. But the day that we turn our back on Jesus will be the day that he will turn his back on us because we have denied him. So I'm saying this for the, the day. Don't turn your back on Jesus. Walk with him under the anointing. You always give me praise. If you sit in a place eating and the Spirit of God comes on you, it's okay. Praise the Lord. Let God move. Hallelujah. We were sitting the other day eating at a place, brother, and this brother just bowed, took it, took his hat off about his head and went to pray. And I thought, you don't see me now when you're doing that. And you know, and they did, we just got to talking about the Lord and, and it's just so awesome how people want to talk about the Lord. But you know, people, they, de they deny it around other people, but in their heart they want to speak it. So look what the devil is robbing from us from receiving what God has for us. Because we deny what we want to do and we let the world have this way. It's time we do what we want to do and let the world have it set off to the side. If they want part of what I've got with Jesus, they can just go on. But I'm going to praise the Lord. I love the Lord. Now. I, mean, I know this wasn't much this morning, Brother Wiley, but, but I mean, but open the word and I just kept going through it and praying. And, and Jesus said, I mean, it's, it's our mind. It's what we got in our mind. I mean, that God wants us to do. I mean, we have to set in our mind and have to love the Lord with our heart and be obedient to God for what God has for us. He says, the anointing of the Lord will be upon you. I mean, as my daddy used to say, the anointing of the Lord is like honey. When it gets on you, it's sticky. And you can stick somebody else to get close enough and pray for them. So get some honey on you and get love and let the people and let the Lord just... Stick them together and let the Lord move in your life. I love you. God bless you and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good Lord and good week, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know the Lord has moved because I'm not hurting like I was. Praise the Lord. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. What? Hallelujah. I was hurting so bad I couldn't stay there, hardly. Thank you, Jesus.
but not right now. I'm going to the time to just go away. I said the pain is going away. You know the Lord is so good to us. I said the Lord is so good to us. We just don't know how. Great the Lord is, but he's doing something for his people. I said he's doing something for his people. Amen. And uh, you know I I can't get out much. I can't get out and walk much. But Listen. I stay in, that, I stay in my, the trailer down there and I pray. I got my, you know, all day and all night. Yes. And I get lonesome. I said, I get lonesome. It gets, it gets lonesome, but what's in the Bible by yourself? I said, by yourself. You don't know, I mean, people don't realize until they lose a love how lonesome it is. I said, how lonesome it is. Even when people celebrate, you know, it hurts. I said, it hurts. When they separate, it hurts both sides. I said, it hurts both sides. And if we separate from Jesus, we don't hurt, we I said, it hurt. Sure. Well, I appreciate Mary and Adam was supposed to, I mean, Adam was supposed to be here this morning for sure. I don't know, they, they operated on the full year. Believe I want us to pray for Lincoln. They operated on him yesterday. And they, he had the biggest chance for us of anybody that they ever operated on, I think. Oh. It was Adam always did. They done fix them last year, I believe it was. And they'd grow back and they had to fix it all. That little fellers had a time. I said he's had a time. And let's be afraid for him. They had him operated on yesterday. I said yesterday I talked to Mary. Lord, and, uh, Lord, Lord, Lord. But he's a he's a sweet little boy. I said he's a sweet little boy. He loves he loves both of his papas. I said he loves both of his papas. He loves Ali and he loves me. He's a lovable child. That other is lovable boy when she gets mad, she's a mess, isn't she? Oh. The bail. I said the bail when she gets mad, she's she's a mess. I said, she's a mess. I'm going to see the offering. Get an offering. So if I 